Hey guys, Kenya Charmander's here, and today I bring to you a video on the best Coral Puke Puke gear tier list. Here's what you need to make. With Coral Puke Puke coming for another week, and in the future events, I decided to make a tier list regarding the best Coral Puke Puke gear. So we're going to take a look at all the data, etc. that supports why you should definitely build some of these armor pieces, and why you should stay away for some of them. But this is the first monster type that requires grade 8 to get all of its equipment skills, so if you're going to invest, you must invest sparingly. And that's why I'm making this video. If you're going to make something that requires grade 8, there are some things you should make and some things you should not. This video will analyze the best pieces to build, as I mentioned before, and we're going to go over why exactly, with supported data, why these are the best pieces to make, and why you should definitely consider going after Core Puke Puke and killing a lot of them just so you can make these sweet pieces of gear. All right, now let's just jump into it. In the C tier, we have the not worth it tier. First off, we have the Koro Puke Puke Arms. The Koro Puke Puke Arms armor is the Puke Lagoon Braces. Rising Tide is okay, but a lot of arms armor has better equipment skills suited for this slot. A good example is Rothian Arms for Burst Level 2, or elemental attack level 2 arms. So just there's so many better things you could put in the arm slot that will actually give you level 2 at grade 6. Even though this thing does have Skyward Striker, Skyward Striker is one of the worst attack boosting skills so far in the game. It desperately needs a buff and a big reason for it is that it only applies to attacks that are in midair. It doesn't, it's not like burst where it will give you a holistic boost across all of your attacks for a prerequisite. It's just really bad. It needs a buff and at level 5 it actually only gives 30%, which is the same thing as burst 5 by the way. So if you're going to go for offense and we're going to see supporting data from this later as to why Skyward Striker is not even considered in the top builds as far as damage goes. And next for the C tier where it's not worth it is the Koro Puke Puke Legs. The Koro Puke Puke Legs armor is the Puke Lagoon Greaves. Here's the thing though. Power Prolonger is trash. There I said it, per data every level only adds about 3 seconds. There are better gear that have better equipment skills. If you are a dual blades main and an expert at the dual blades, you know how to maximize damage because you can still attack beyond demon mode being up. Here's an example right here, as you see even though my stamina gauge is up, you can still attack beyond demon dance. And if you have your special up, you can combo it in after. So if you are an expert at dual blades, you don't need power prolonger. And if the monster attacks you, you still have to dodge out the way. So it's pretty worthless to use as an equipment skill as far as dual blades goes. As for the charge blade loading five files, which is maximizing out to your file gauge, it will last 42 seconds. That's plenty of time considering you have to charge your files first. There's only a max of 115 seconds per hunt, so Power Prolonger doesn't actually increase your DPS versus other pieces of gear. There's more data evidence on that later. I'm going to go over that later because people are going to be like, Oh my gosh, you're just a hater. No, there's actually data that supports don't use Power Prolonger. Or at least the top builds say don't use Power Prolonger. Also take into consideration, some of your battles won't last longer than what Power Prolonger would extend your time at. As you see for this Odo Garen, I cleared it in 55 seconds, so I wouldn't need Power Prolonger to begin with. In addition, as a dual blades main, it's much more effective for you to turn on demon mode constantly to maximize DPS. You don't need power prolonging to do that for you, especially if the monster keeps attacking you. Maximize your time outside of demon mode by constantly using demon dance, comboing using your special skill, and turning it on at the appropriate times unless you're doing group play where the monster isn't attacking you in general. Up next we have the B tier, where it's okay but it still might not be worth it. Here we have the Coral Puke Puke Chest. The Coral Puke Puke Chest is the Puke Lagoon Male. At Grade 8, it gives Power Prolonger Level 2 and Rising Tide Level 1. And the only reason this piece is okay is because some might like Power Prolonger. If you're gonna go Power Prolonger, build this thing. But it doesn't beat out other pieces in the top DPS builds. Here's the data I mentioned earlier. Using the Dual Blades, we look at the top DPS builds for Black Diablos and Diablos Dual Blades. Notice how none of them have Coral Puke Puke chest for Power Prolonger. Most have the Devil Joe chest with Rathalos and Odo Garen chest coming in as the next best things. This is the same for elemental builds as you want to use the chest slot for elemental attack if possible, as many of the elemental attack skills have the chest slot having elemental attacks for their elements. So if there's anything out there that's telling you that this actually increases your DPS, no it 
doesn't. And it kind of makes you a little more lazy as far as the mechanic side because you're not taking advantage of using and maximizing at the normal times. And there's the data that supports that says don't use power prolonger. In addition, building anything to grade 8 is expensive. If we use the data, thank you mhn.quest by the way, that link is going to be in the description. It takes 108 7 star Coral Puke Puke to be able to fully build a grade 8 from scratch Coral Puke Puke chest. To make matters worse, the estimation does not include obtaining Wyvern Gem Shards and Zenny. You need 47,000 Zenny and you also need two Wyvern Gem Shards. For those of you that don't live in a place like Japan or those places that give you group play where people can carry you, or if you just don't have any additional knives or you're not willing to spend gems to double up, two Wyvern Gem Shards is a lot. Moving up, we have the A tier. These are definitely worth building and that's the Coral Puke Puke weapons. So I wanted to cover the weapons on this tier list as well. Coral Puke Puke weapons are the best of the current water weapons in the game. So out of Great Jagras, out of Gyrotodus, Coral Puke Puke reigns supreme. Supported by this chart right here. As you see right here for the top builds of all three of these water weapons, if we compare the top two out of all of them, Coral Puke Puke builds do the most damage. Now it's not S tier for good reason. Earplugs isn't the greatest equipment skill for a subspecies weapon and it's not like the Black Diablo subspecies where the bow is essentially just a kill most of everything in the game type of weapon. Unless it's that good, it's not going to take S tier. But because it is, as of right now, the best water weapon, it is amazing and belongs in the A tier. Also keep in mind that Kuro Puke Puke is a subspecies, so you are going to have to take out a lot of them if you want a great 10 5 out of 5 weapon. I'm not going to put the chart over here, but it's approximately nearly 500 Kuro Puke Puke if you want to get all the materials, not including Wyvern, Gems, Arts, and Zenny, to get a great 10 5 out of 5 Kuro Puke Puke weapon. And last but not least, we have the S tier, the greatest of them all. Build these now! These are the greatest Coral Puke Puke items you must have. Well, depending on what you mean. But for the first one, we have the Coral Puke Puke Waste. And the Coral Puke Puke Waste is the Puke Lagoon Coil. This is one of the best pieces for any Libogun user. This upgrades Libogun builds immensely. So. At first, I wasn't too sold on it for my Fire Attack 5 build, as I thought crit might be a little better. While it does do a little more damage, it's just so much fun having Recoil Down 3 and Reload Speed 3. <laughs> for those of you that don't know, that's one of the most iconic lines in anime. Coming from Cowboy Bebop, and if you want a more trauma-filled experience, Iyaku Shiki, I think I said that right. But here is a showcase of the Coral Puke Puke Waste value versus a 7 star Great Jagras. I'm using a Grade 6 level 5 out of 5 Rathalos Light Bow Gun with Fire Attack level 5, Recoil Down level 3, and Reload Speed level 3. Notice how after saying that entire build, I am absolutely shredding this poor Great Jagras. If you are a Light Bow Gun main, this is your best friend. If you plan on using the Light Bow Gun in the future, this will be your best friend. In other words, build it, use it, love it. And finally, another one of the greatest pieces of the Coral Puke Puke archetype is the S tier Build This Now Coral Puke Puke Helm. The Coral Puke Puke Helm is the Puke Lagoon Hat. It's a direct upgrade from the Kuyaku Helm, and this is one of the most powerful helms for melee users. In fact, it is so freaking good that in a lot of the data you saw before, it is in a lot of the best builds. Weakness exploit level 2 and lock on level 1 is absolutely nuts. This is a melee user's dream. It's incredibly powerful, incredibly strong in a lot of different builds. And like I mentioned before, a lot of the top builds you saw from before, most of them use the Coral Puke Puke Helm. The great thing about this piece of gear is this helm is super flexible and works with some elemental builds as well. Because it only takes the helm spot and some elemental builds can get to element attack level 5 without the helmet slot this is perfect for that slot especially for melee and the thing about it is it does require it to be a grade 8 which is expensive that's the most unfortunate thing about this but as you see for testing this thing is really good if you can stay on a weak spot this thing does some work but that's the thing 
Wex 2 requires you to hit weak spots for it to be the most effective. Now, obviously, for some monsters like Barith, it's absolutely amazing. And for the next monster I'm going to showcase this on, it can also be amazing for some other things that do happen to move a lot. For example, the newest Vernal Invader monster, Odo Garen. Yay, I hate this thing so much. But if you are an expert at your weapon in melee, you should be able not to have any problem targeting weak spots. Hopefully this tier list helps you decide what you want to build from Coral Puke Puke. And don't worry if you can't build it now, as Coral Puke Puke will likely come back for future events. If you couldn't play during these two weeks, or you just don't have enough materials at the end of these two weeks, don't worry, it's going to come back, and you'll have more time to take out Coral Puke Puke in the future. So again, don't worry about those materials. You don't have it now, it will come back again. With that being said, please do me a huge favor, like, subscribe, and comment for the YouTube algorithm. Good luck on your Coral Puke Puke grinds. Wishing you all the material luck, especially those rarity fives, and I will see y'all on the next video.